Hey guys, welcome back. So right now we're tackling uh, problem 420, <clears throat> which deals with a couple moments. Okay, it's kind of funny when professors are teaching this and they just keep mentioning couple moments, couple moments. I just find it kind of funny. All right, so let's get to it. So let's see, determine the result in couple moments acting on the triangular plate. Okay, so again, just like last problem, let's identify the couple moments here. I have this 300 and this 300, right? Equal magnitude, opposite direction, and they're separated by four feet. I have this 200, so I have this one and this one. Okay, actually let's say one, one, I have two and two. Okay, and this last one, three and three. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's see. So let's take the, the moment caused by one of these couple moments. Let's do M1, okay. So let's see, magnitude is 200 newtons. The distance between them is four feet. Okay, and then do they want to make it rotate counterclockwise or, cl or clockwise? Okay, and let's do this just so nobody gets confused. Counterclockwise is positive. So this wants to rotate. You can just put, if you, if you have this on a piece of paper, put your finger on this spot, okay? And then with your other finger, left hand index finger just holds this point down, and on the right hand, you just push your paper in this direction. You should see it, that it rotates uh, counterclockwise. So just like expected, we have 800 pound feet. Perfect. Now M2. M2, again, magnitude is 300. Distance between, 400. And now, uh, counterclockwise or clockwise and you should say clockwise uh, counterclockwise sorry all right so we got a 1200 pound foot torque here all right and then last but not least again this one so m3 150. Distance between them is four. Okay. And then we have these things that are going again counterclockwise. So this is 600 pound feet. Okay. So then the resultant moment or resultant couple moment. Okay. It's going to be 800. Well, 800 plus 1200 plus 600. Okay, so the resultant is 26 pound feet. Okay, so I guess if you wanted to draw the resultant, just draw it right here like this. Okay, this thing is rotating. 2,600 pound feet. All right. And yeah, so if you can identify a couple moment in future problems or, you know, now that you know this and you go back to chapter three problems while you study, uh, it should make life a lot easier since you can, uh, you can shorten the problem Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave your questions or comments below and subscribe because I'll be posting a lot of these in the future. Later.